Hello and welcome to this tutorial uh, about uh, exporting to DirectX from Blender or .x format. Uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit about the problems and what you can do uh, to make it work uh, because I think there's a lot of people out there that has a problem with this. Uh, so I thought I should do a little tutorial about it. Uh, first off, I'm going to talk a little bit about animation, uh, and if you can animate, if you can do an animation character and export it to X, you can do a character not animated or an object, because basically the hard part is exporting something that is animated and has bones. So I'm going to look here at the action editor when I, where our animator has done some animation for our character uh, from the Cos War game. Uh, his name is Sonny, and all props to him for the awesome animations that we have in the game. Uh, here's the list of all the animation. Uh, you should probably have a drop-down list if you have made some action animation, but we have the data browser because we've done so many animations. Uh, as you can see here, uh, to the left in the action editor, um, there there's a lot of keys, but the important thing when you do the keying is that you have a key at the beginning and at the end of your animation because uh, the exporter will think that if you have no more keys the animation is ended it does not bother at all with the end down here in the frame area so it only cares about the ac if the action has a start key and an end key the names of the animation the meshes and the bones uh, when when you choose the names, it's very important that you do not use spaces, slashes, exclamation marks, or question marks, because those will uh, destroy the exporting. So no uses of these at all. Uh, you can use underline like we have used here instead of space. If you have more question about which characters you can use on the on the keyboard, ask a programmer because it's basically the same as for any programming. So, when you've done that, made sure everything is named without spaces, and just to say it again, this is a normal mistake, someone has done a slash or a space before the name. So that, that will screw up your exportation, so if you, if you don't get it to work, make sure, check everything, make sure no animations and no names on the bones or, or meshes have this problem. Uh, the second thing, if you have exported the basic mesh for Max and any other program, uh, you need to delete the material because Blender does not like this. So then you choose editing, like I've chosen here, F9. You have the mesh chosen and you delete the material, like this. This does not need to be done if the material or the character is made in Blender from the beginning. Only needed if the character ex if the character is imported to Blender from another program. Okay, so that can create some problems. I usually, if I get problems with exporting, I usually delete it anyway, uh, just to make sure that that is not the problem. And another thing you need to think about, which is very important and a lot of people had a problem with, is uh, where the pivot point of the character is. Uh, if you get something like this, uh, when you export to X, that means that the pivot point of the character and the bones are in different places. Uh, I'm going to explain this to you. Uh, I'm taking forward my bones here, uh, and I'm going to put this guy in a T-pose. Uh, position like this uh, and you can see here when I have the bone selected that the pivot point this little guy over here is at zero 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 and when I select uh, the mesh you can see that the same thing goes for the for the character in the mesh uh, and the reason for this is when the exporter exports uh, the mesh and the bones, it will put the mesh and the bones uh, pivot point at zero, zero, zero. So if th the pivot point would be in any other position, like to say like this, you can see the pivot po point is here, it's going to uh, move the pivot point down here to zero, 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 and if you have ever tried to move a character that is boned, 
uh, from its original position you will get the problem uh, that I showed you before uh, where he looks like a monkey I'm trying to recreate it here but he doesn't really want to <laughs> uh, so make sure that you go into select and choose in object mode choose zero 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 and then move your character to the right position of the bones the best thing is to do this before you make the bones uh, and before you um, are done with everything because it can create some problems to get it to the point at the right, right position uh, so then we go into exporting and I usually use another window where I choose script window scripts export and choose the exporter that I'm gonna export with uh, but you can also use file export and choose the exporter here uh, what you're going to see here is that the original exporter for Blender is fine for stale objects, but if you want to do animation, you should get this exporter that I'm going to show you now. So at Jiro.net, vv.jiro.net slash directx line exporter dot html. Down here you have Direct Exporter that we're using and it's really good. It's basically the same exporter with a few extra features uh, that it's actually working. Uh, so when you when you have this exporter, you place it in your other exporter files, uh, and it will come up when you start Blender. Uh, and it would look like this: Direct Exporter with error handling. We're using the seal version, it's our own version of the same exporter with the only difference that it sorts animations by name. And then you get this window and if you want the character to be animated, of course you choose animated. Speed, you let everything be. The only thing you need to think about is to click flip Z and swap Z and Y. The reason for this is that uh, in OpenGL which this is rendered in, everything is on the other side or flipped. So if you would export this character without using these two options, he would be upside down and his left hand would be his right hand. So if you don't want to make that changes later in the code or want to save something for your programmers, uh, then always use these options when you're exporting. Uh, and then we use export all. Uh, and the reason is because there's some bugs with export selected. So make sure there's no other meshes here as well because we're gonna join him in the exportation. So make sure the, the scene is clean of anything else than that what you want to ex be exported. Uh, I've already exported the guy because it takes approximately 5 to 10 minutes when you have 200 animations like we do. Uh, so to save you the time to watch it, I'm just gonna go uh, and show you. Here he is. This is the X file, uh, and this is DirectX Viewer. Uh, you can get it from the DirectX homepage SDK for DirectX. It comes with it, and here you can see that it's animated and working. I usually use this just to see that it's working. If it's working in here then it's the mesh is working and if it doesn't work in your engine it's probably the programmer's fault uh, and just to make uh, to see it in a little bit funnier viewer with some animations on it you can see it here in Trivision's model viewer uh, who also, also supports X uh, and here we can choose different animations you can see the guys animated there uh, so now everything's working he's happy and all and that's basically how you do it. That's how you export to DirectX. Uh, make sure, I'm just gonna take it one more time really fast. Make sure the pivot points of both the mesh and the bones are at 0, 0, 0. Make sure uh, that your animations and names are not ha don't have any weird characters in them. And make sure that the material is not from any other program. And if that doesn't work, uh, then you need to check into some other stuff, but it should work. Uh, thank for me this time.